All right, so I'm driving in Chicago during the pandemic. We're in the middle of the pandemic, and I'm just driving around the city streets of Chicago. I'm approaching downtown around the Loop area, and the pandemic is in full force. As you can see, there's a guy to the right-hand side with a mask on. It's a black mask on. His, his child has a mask on. Uh, they're trying to protect themselves from the pandemic. So I'm driving downtown of course, as I just said, and we're in the middle of the pandemic, and there's just people everywhere. Some people are wearing masks, some people are not wearing masks. Uh, some people think it's an option, but it's quite a serious situation that we're in. So I'm coming up to the stoplight right here, and we're going to cruise right downtown. I'm going to be going by the Sears Tower, uh, formerly called the Sears Tower. It's known as the Willis Tower, and I think that name has even changed from that. So I'm just gonna be cruising down the street and um, you'll be able to see people walking around like these gentlemen in front right here. They don't have mask on. Uh, apparently um, they don't feel like they need mask or maybe they don't have mask. There's a lot of mask shortages throughout the entire world right now. So some people don't have it and so they're uh, sometimes uh, resorting to makeshift mask such as scarves, or sh such as shirts, and I'm even seeing a toilet paper mask where people put toilet paper around their uh, mouth and nose to avoid getting COVID-19, also called Corona. So we're gonna go past this stoplight right here, and I believe the Sears Tower is just north of here. I'm gonna wanna drive by the Sears Tower so you can see like how vacant it is uh, during the week. Normally during the week, Places like downtown across the entire country are filled with people at work, coming in and out of work, walking down the street. But right now, it's almost as if it's a ghost town. Um, I've never seen anything like this. I don't think anyone in my lifetime or the lifetime before mine has seen anything of this nature, which is very strange. Uh, there's a guy to the right-hand side. I don't know if you can see him, but he's running along with a mask on. I've never seen anybody running along with a mask on unless they're one of those weird guys in the gym that have the mask on in order to increase their breathing capacity. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that in a long time. So I'm gonna cruise down this street in order to get to the Sears Tower, the Willis Tower. I'm gonna have to go wrap around the block, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna uh, show you what's going on right here. We're in the financial district of downtown Chicago right now. I'm gonna cross the Board of Trade. Cross the Board of Trade underneath this right here and then we're gonna wrap around and I'm gonna show you around the world's, one of the world's tallest buildings is completely vacant right now. People not working in there because of COVID-19. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna go ahead and turn down this road right here. Wait for the red light. And I, I can see as I turn, I'm gonna turn on this road and you'll see how much of a ghost town this place looks. And normally during the week, you have people going in and out, vendors on the, on the street, um, you know, panhandlers, none of that right now. It is quite the creepy feeling. I'm gonna wait for this light right here. All right, we have one guy crossing the street uh, really quickly. He's gonna be coming from the right. You'll see that he has a mask on. That's one of those, uh, looks like a surgical mask of some sort or maybe a makeshift surgical mask that only wraps around the ears. people everywhere with masks. Seagulls, seagulls flying in, no one here to give them food. The pigeons flying in, no one to give them food. It's, they're having a rough time during this, this whole situation themselves. The green light should, green arrow should be coming on soon. We're gonna take a turn and we're gonna be cruising by and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a trip around the Sears Tower formerly called the Sears Tower, now called the Willis Tower, to show you the magnitude of what COVID-19 is doing across the globe. 
coming up underneath the L, also called the subway, but it's not a subway right now, it's a above way. Some people running, some people running without mask on, but he has gloves on. I'm not sure if he has it on to protect his nails or he has it on so he doesn't want to touch things that have COVID-19. Very interesting times right here with him. Very interesting times. I'm just gonna come up to this street. I'm gonna wanna go up one more block and then I'm going to make a left, not a right, and I'm gonna go past uh, the Sears Tower, formerly called the Sears Tower, now called the Willis Tower, but it's actually called something else right now. All right, so I'm gonna come by this, past the uh, United States Post Office, and I'm gonna wait for this light to turn green because it's currently red, and red means you can't go. Interesting times we're dealing with. I'm just gonna make an adjustment to the camera. All right, make an adjustment to the camera. And I have a green light. We have one gentleman walking down the street with two bags of groceries in his hand, no mask on. Another individual with no mask on. Some people just don't think that they can get it or maybe they've already had it and have the antibodies within their system to prevent them from getting it even worse. So I'm gonna cruise down here. So this down here, we're in the financial district right here. There is past the border trade, and there is no one here. No one here. Not, they're not playing hooky, you guys. They're actually not here because their work has forced them. The state has forced employers not to have work from these offices. People can work, but they can stay home. And so what happens, some of these employers are not able to have the capacity to have their employees work from home. If you look to the left, right up, that is the Sears Tower. The Sears Tower is up to the left right there, completely vacant. One of the largest, the largest building, the tallest building in Chicago, Illinois, is vacant right now. I'm gonna wrap around the block and show you where there are not many people. There are people running around, getting exercise in, but not many people at work. So I'm gonna wrap around this block right here. I am on Wacker Drive right now. This is usually busy during the week, but it's completely vacant. No one is here, it's like a ghost town. I'm gonna wrap around this street right here. This is Jackson Avenue. UPS driver right there had a mask on. He's trying to protect himself. Even the panhandlers have mask on. Very interesting times. I wait for this light right here. I could technically go ahead and go and not have to worry about cars coming because there's such a lack of cars. Normally during the week, I'd have to worry about cars coming from left, right, above, and below and I wouldn't be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to go out into the street like this. Very hectic, very strange times. So I'm gonna go ahead and go. There's a green light, opposite of red, that means I can go. And I'm just gonna cruise down this street and I'm gonna go down, got a red light. You have construction workers working they have masks on. It seems like the only people working around these parts right now are construction workers. Construction workers from very strange times we're in. Very strange times. So now I'm gonna wrap around the block and I'm gonna go down Wacker Drive, one of the busiest streets downtown during the week with workers is completely vacant right now. The strange times we live in, strange times. Sirens going off. I'm gonna wait for this light. Cruise past this, wait for the light. All right, there you have it, you have a green light. People going on daily walks with mask on. Some people have unique designer mask. 
if you're going to have to be covered up, you guess you have to be, I mean, being uh, fashionable is an option. All right, we're going to go down here. I'm going to go up a couple blocks. Or actually, I'm going to make a left again. I told you I was going to go around the block, and then I'm going to go straight, and then I'm going to make a right onto Wacker Drive so you can see one of the busiest streets in, in Chicago, Illinois, completely vacant due to COVID-19. Strange times we live in. Strange times. And wait for this light. If you look far into the distance, you can see the merchandise mart, the largest office space in the world, completely vacant right now because of COVID-19. Strange times we live in, strange times. I'm gonna go straight. Yet again, I met another light. I'm gonna go straight and then go over the hill. And see what's going on right here. It's a guy that's a unique looking mask that he has on. I haven't quite seen that one yet. Wonder if it's an N95 mask. Crossing over the bridge. Right now I'm crossing over the Chicago River. The Chicago River runs through the city of Chicago. Crossing over it right now. No one around. There's a couple of pigeons, less than normally that are right around here. And I'm gonna make a right onto Canal. This is Canal Street right here that I'm turning on. Another part of the busy downtown section no one seems to be around. I have a green light. So I'm gonna go back across the bridge and I'm gonna make a left after I get across the bridge and I'm gonna go down Wacker Drive. Construction workers to the left. I'm gonna try to avoid them, kind of like I'm trying to avoid COVID-19. Strange times we live in, strange times. Go left. Oh. Avoid this. Avoid the people. I'm going to make a left onto Wacker Drive. The green light. Got the green light. make a left down here and I'm just gonna cruise down the street right here I'm coming near the street called Madison this is the street that separates the north and the south in Chicago coming to a red light wait I'm gonna rev up my engine and then I'm gonna take off. The Civic Opera, where the opera plays, the Civic Opera House is to the left right here. Completely vacant. The fat lady is not singing. Strange times we live in, strange times. So I'm coming up across another section of the Chicago River. If I can make this light, not sure I can make that, I should have peeled out a little bit sooner, but I didn't because of the strange times we're living in. And this is Randolph Street. And if you can look above or look straight ahead, there is a subway, also called an above way track right up there. And I'm gonna pass that. I'm gonna go underneath that right there. As you can see right there, look at the bottom of the screen. You can see the train crossing on the track right there. The train is crossing on the track. 
probably completely empty in the cars because everyone, no one, or not a lot of people are coming out of their household during these strange times that we're living in right now. But I'm just gonna wait. You see to the left, there is a construction worker coming across with a fashionable mask. Strange time we're living in. Strange times. I'm gonna come up underneath here. And remember I was talking about the merchandise mart a little bit earlier. Well, you're gonna see the merchandise mart right ahead or straight ahead. That building right here, the brown building kind of to the right, that is the world's largest, largest office space right there. Completely empty because of COVID-19. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. That building, I believe, was built right after the Spanish flu. Okay, so that building was almost here for two pandemics. If you're not familiar with the Spanish flu, the Spanish flu was a, a flu influenza strain that killed 50 million people worldwide. Those were some strange times. Happened in 1919. So we're gonna pass this right here. To the left right there now is the merchandise mart. Art Deco style of architecture. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna cruise on down and I'm gonna turn on to Michigan Avenue where there will be some people walking around, some people exercising. <clears throat> I hope that's not COVID. Wait for people to cross the street. You see the famous corn on the cob buildings to the left right there. Very unique, built in the 70s. Wait for this to happen, wait for the light to change, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and go. So I'm gonna cross this street. There's still construction of some buildings going on during these strange times. Construction may go on until the, the money perhaps runs out. Strange times we're living in, strange times. That's a unique mask that gentleman had on. And so we're gonna we're passing the corner of the cop buildings on the left, and I'm making my way to Michigan Avenue. Michigan Avenue is the most famous street in Chicago. It is primarily the shopping district. It is the primary shopping district in Chicago, Illinois. Across this street right here, and then I'm going to go ahead. And go straight, and I'm gonna go to Michigan Avenue, and so I can get to where I need to go. straight down this street right here. As you can see up there, there's the Wrigley Building to the left and across the street to it, to the right is the Tribune Center. And we're gonna pass those. Very unique architecture. I'm gonna go ahead and make a left onto the street right here. And when I make a left, we will officially be on 
Michigan Avenue. Michigan Avenue that seems to be mostly vacant during these strange times. Gonna go ahead and make a left onto the street right here. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, Michigan Avenue during the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic. You have the Tribune Center to the left. You have the Wrigley Building to the right. The police officer crossing the street, making sure everybody is following the rules. People getting their daily walk to stay exercised, to keep exercise going in their life. Gyms are closed. The beaches are closed. The lakefront is completely closed during these strange times that we're living in. I'm gonna go ahead and cruise down this street and you will notice, you will notice how there are so few people walking around during these strange times. The Tribune Center to the right, under construction, building some condos into that building, I do believe. A lot of these stores like Nordstrom's, Boss Hugo Boss, Men's Warehouse, they are all closed. Citibank is closed. Ann Taylor, Levi's closed. Roots closed. Coach closed. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. So I'm gonna cruise down Michigan Avenue and I'm gonna make my way to Lakeshore Drive and you'll see how few people are on Lakeshore Drive during these strange times. Usually Lakeshore Drive is hustling and bustling with cars coming north and south, commuting to and fro where they need to go. But during these strange times, you will see the lack of cars because people are at home trying to avoid COVID-19 during these strange times. Other stores that are closed, the Rolex store is closed, the Cartier store is closed. Salvatore Ferrer, I cannot pronounce that, it is also closed. Dylan's Candy is closed. The Nike store is closed during these strange times. Express is closed, Zara is closed during these strange times. T-Mobile is closed. Verizon is closed. Can you hear me now? Strange times we're living in, strange times. The Walgreens seems to be the only store that is open to the right. The Lush store is closed. Uniquilo is closed. Police officers were wearing a fashionable black mask. Coming up on Water Tower Mall. Coming up on Water Tower Mall is closed. All American Girl Place is closed. Toys R Us Adventures, you can see to the left is closed. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. So we're almost to Lake Shore Drive. And I'm gonna just cruise down Lake Shore Drive and show you how vacant the road is as soon as I get past this light. We have a bus driver to the right of me. I think he thinks this is some sort of drag race or something. Has a mask on, well, slightly on, not covering his mouth and nose. Just gonna cross past this. Bloomingdale's is closed. The Westin, I do believe, is closed to the right. 900 Michigan Avenue shops is closed. Omega is closed. Blow. Blo Blogari is closed. Wait for this. And I'm going to get onto the freeway and I'm going to show you the beautiful Lakeshore Drive where people are not even 
on it. Very few people, but most people are avoiding it because of the strange times. Gotta approach this. You can see how beautiful the Lakeshore Drive drive is. You'll, you'll be able to see the water, and I'm coming up from out of the tunnel, and look to the right in a few seconds, and you'll be able to see the vacant lakefront, which has been closed down by the authorities during these strange times. People are not allowed to walk, crawl, ride their bike, skip, hop, dance, or twerk down Lakeshore Drive lakefront during these strange times. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. I'm gonna come up here. As you can see, there are very few cars, very few vehicles on the road during these strange times. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. I'm gonna go ahead and cross over here, over this over ramp. This is North Avenue that I'm crossing over right here. You can look to the right. Usually during this time, these strange times, you don't see a lot of stuff, but during normal times, you'll see people running up and down Lakeshore Drive or either on the beach somewhere. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. The water seems to be very green. Would be an, an opportune time for people to come out and just enjoy the beach and walk, but they can't during these strange times. And I'm just going to keep on cruising down the street. see there's not many people around passing Fullerton Parkway Lincoln Park Zoo on Lakeshore Drive beautiful Lakeshore Drive I'm down in the Lincoln Park neighborhood very nice neighborhood but not a lot of people I see other than being in their cars and doing these strange times Police officers taking stake on the lakefront, making sure people don't go out there and violate the COVID-19 order during the strange times. And across, you can see more of the lake to the, to the right. And to the left, you can see the harbor where there are no boy, boats. Usually during this time of the year, the harbor is full with boats people bringing their yachts and boats out here to enjoy the Lake Michigan, which is to the right. But unfortunately, during these strange times, they're not able to do so. And cruise on down here. Beautiful, beautiful Lakeshore Drive. All right, so that's just my tour during through downtown Chicago and up Lakeshore Drive during these strange times. As you can see, look to the right, that is a Belmont Harbor, and that is completely vacant right now. No boats, no ships, no canoes, no paddle boats, not even ducks during these strange times are in the harbor. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. I'm just going to cruise a little bit further before I head back downtown. Back downtown to show you more of what's going on during these strange times that we're living in. Strange times we're living in. Strange times. I'm going to cruise a little bit more. And here we are. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this tour of Chicago during the strange times we're living in, the strange times. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button during these strange times, and I'll appreciate it tremendously. Coming up on Irving Avenue, on Lakeshore Drive. Very strange times. I'm just gonna cruise up a little bit further before I head back down, just so you can get a glimpse of what it looks like in Chicago, Illinois, during these strange times we're living in. Strange times. View can 
see, you can see the dandelions starting to bud on the ground, the trees starting to bud in the air. Spring is upon us, but no one is outside during these strange times we're living in, strange times. a little bit further. I'm actually going to get off on the next exit, or probably the exit after that, during these strange times, and then go back down. If you're just joining in, thank you for cruising with me during these strange times as I show what, what's going on, what's really happening during these strange times that we're living in, these strange times. I'm gonna get off on this next exit and go back downtown. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this cruise during these strange times we're living in. Strange times. Thanks a lot for watching.